1894, they built the very first car ferry. That was the Ann Arbor Railroad that did that. The president took a long time to raise the money. Investors were a little bit unsure about the idea of building a large boat, pushing heavy boxcars onto it, and then taking it across Lake Michigan, not the calmest lake in the world. Investors weren't sure they wanted to put their money on a project like that. Finally, he rounded up enough money. Uh, as you might have seen on the uh, board here, the first routes were established. Um, Alberta and Frankfurt was the major hub in Michigan of the Ann Arbor R Road. And they set up the first car ferry, essentially a wooden barge. Like all great ideas, the competitors steal those ideas. The other two railroads, the Pere Marquette and the Grand Trunk Railway, thought pretty handy. Just take those boxcars right across, unload the boxcars, wait for another set of boxcars to be loaded back on, go across the lake, and you go back and forth, thereby speeding up your delivery time of those boxcars. So the Pere Marquette Railway established routes a little bit south of that, of the Ann Arbor's routes, and then the Grand Trunk Railway from Milwaukee to Muskegon. This was a Grand Trunk boat, built in 1930, launched in 1931, served for 50 years, from 31 to 1981. And uh, this summer, we're celebrating 85 years of this boat's existence, and still watertight after all those years.